Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Mystery Box. So this is almost exact same from Hypixel, a really awesome plugin. So go ahead and download it in the description, drop in your plugins folder, and then let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So it's a mystery vault that has a possibility to contain some boxes in it. Now these boxes have a 50-50 chance or whatever you set in the config to pull either let's say a diamond or a dirt block. So, so your players can receive these boxes and then they can check in this vault here and see if they have any boxes. Click on it and then maybe they can get something. So you can include this in bycraft packages if you want in certain kits and make it to where they'll get added boxes if they buy a kit. Just a thought. But anyways, let's go ahead and create one ourselves. So you just place down an inner chest you look at it and then you just type the command slash mystery box create and hit enter so that box has just been created however to be able to use it you need an actual box for it and these boxes contain whatever items that you set in the config you can create multiple amounts so let's say like Halloween is coming up so you can create a Halloween box that your players can receive so let's go ahead and give ourselves by default the test box so let's do that by typing in slash mystery box add let's type in our name and then let's go ahead and use the name test because that's the name of the box by default in the config and let's go ahead and give ourselves two so there we go we just received two and now if we open up the mystery vault bam and bam so two which you have a 50 percent chance of getting either both grass and stone or you have a 50 percent chance of getting diamond and emerald so let's click this to open it up and then you can either confirm yes or no if you hit yes bam there we go so as you guys can see here this block and the particle effects can also be changed in the config so just our luck we didn't get what we actually would have wanted instead we got the commons so good thing we have another try here let's go ahead and do it again and you can also change that to a player head if you choose to do so but once again we got stuck with the crap blocks but anyways, that is how that works. You can also change most of the settings in game, but instead we're gonna do most of it in the config. Let's go ahead and create a Halloween mystery box in the config. So go ahead and open up the config.yml inside the mystery box folder. So you guys can change if you want them to use the open command. So down here, we actually have the box with all the particle effects, the items that the players can receive. But up here, we have the chance of what they can pull. So there's two chances. There's one and two. One contains a diamond and an emerald and then two contains grass and stone and you can change the chance right here so 50 50 is what it's currently at you can change the hologram height that comes on the chest as you guys saw in the video and whether or not you want it to use holograms by the way you're gonna need three required plugins which I'm sure you guys already know about but anyways along with it inside the test there will also be messages that are displayed when you receive the items so let's go into the actual settings for the box which is right here is the name of it so it's called test and then we have the particle effects which you can change if you want to you can change it to flicker trail there's a lot of custom settings that you can add and then here we go you guys saw when I first opened the box a little block boosted up in the air and that happened to be a chess but instead if you don't want it to be a block you can make it a player head and then type in the players name right here but I'm gonna stick with block and then it is currently a chess which is the item ID 54 and then the lore this is really important because it lets them know what you can possibly get in it so common grass, common stone, or epic diamond, or epic emerald. And then display name right there. And then what is actually happening with the two choices that they get. So choice one, if choice one happens, then they are given a diamond and they're given an emerald. If choice two happens, they're given a grass and they're given a stone. So let's go ahead and create our own one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the format of the first. Let's go ahead and select all that. Hit control. And then come down here and let's hit paste. So we just paste it in. It's two of the same things. Let's go ahead and make this Halloween because that's what I'm going to call this one. Halloween. And then we, oh, no, don't, don't change that. We got to change this. So let's make this Halloween as well. And now we need to decide what items they get. All right, so I changed one choice to say that they receive a pumpkin and a jack lantern. And then the other choice, they get a skeleton mob head and then a wither skeleton mob head. So... We're going to leave all that the same. Let's go ahead and actually change the block ID to, let's actually make it a skeleton mob head. So 397 is the ID for that. And now we have to change the lore. We're going to go with making a common pumpkin, 
epic skeleton mob head and then an epic wither skeleton mob head so there we go now let's change this as well to halloween and there we go so now we just have to change what they get from this all right so i went ahead and changed the ids let's go ahead and save this and oh wait 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 yeah we're done all right so let's go ahead and save this and then restart our server so obviously you can have these around your spawn and just have as many as you want for your players usually two is enough that's i think that's how high pixel has it anyways if they receive a box like a custom halloween box then they can just walk up to here maybe it'll say one available and then or however many they have and then it'll pop up in here so let's go ahead and give ourselves some of the new boxes that we just created so slash mystery box add the player's name my name and the mystery box name so halloween and let's go with two so there we go receive two halloween boxes they pop up as a skeleton head as you guys can see in the lore we have exactly what we said pumpkin jack o lantern and then skeleton mob and wither skeleton mob there we go all right so let's go ahead and just click on that hit yes let's see what we get and it is a skeleton mob that is right there all right so we didn't get anything which is okay i guess i set the ids wrong or it just doesn't work with mob heads receiving them but that's okay it still ended up functioning so that's always good all right so while i was copying the format i messed up right here you actually have to kind of do the same thing like copy the format and use it for any other boxes that you create so we're gonna have to paste this in so in our new line make sure you backspace all the way to the left paste it in and now we have to actually change this to the name of the box that we just created which is halloween we're gonna leave it 50 50 now let's try this one more time alrighty so hopefully it works bam sweet there we go awesome guys so hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial it is an awesome plugin just like hypixel and if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out